pam pam do 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 hey what's it welcome to the daily pigeon live how are you huh i'm just checking out seeing what's going on what's happening okay i'm hitting watch now on the website to see if i can hey come on let's go i like watch oh there we go okay we're live ladies and gentlemen are you okay it's a little bit before the top of the hour here in hawaii you can always see what time it is in hawaii by checking out my uh little clock back there we got four minutes to the top of the hour hey holy boy how are you hey goof morning huh everything okay i'm still checking it out here it looks like uh, all systems are go you know it may get to the point where I could actually start at 6 a.m. What do you think? Yeah, I know. Alert the media. Getting kind of good at this. Uh, I mean, I don't know about the show, but, you know, at least starting it up. How's it, SD Dodger? Eh? It's Tina Rose Cager in the house. Hi, you. Who the kapuna clock? Yeah, and it's over there. No need glasses for see that bugger. How's your puppy, Janie? Huh? Look at that. Hey, saying how's it to SD Dodger. Sandra Fankali, how are you? Goof morning. Oh, yeah, there we go. See, people saying how's it to everybody else already. I know. Yeah, let's see how we doing. Hey, green man, I spockanize your avatar. As soon as I put this cup down, I'll bring it up on the screen. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Boom. How are you, brother? Ah, goof morning to you. What is this? Oh, brother Bruce now hosting the stream. Thanks, ah, uh, brother Bruce. Yeah. Two minutes to the top of the hour, and here's Kailana Honu. Hey, Kailana Honu. Goof morning to you, too. How are you, huh? Oh, this morning, this day, uh, it was one of those mornings. You know, I got up, you look at, I got up before the alarm. You ever do this? And then you're like, okay, I can get up or try to sleep for five more minutes. <laughs> Guess what? I got up. I know. Hey, good morning, uh, Marmac, how are you? Huh? Well, and then the Genghis with a couple hibiscus right there. Mm -hmm. Which reminds me, I gotta trim that bush. <gasps> oh, everything reminds me of something else. Marmac now hosting the stream on her site. I really appreciate that. How's your big squirrel knots? What's going on here? Oh, what kind of avatar is that? Something going on in the background there. I don't like to make them too big. We might read the sign. <gasps> oh, no, not that. Okay. Hey, how are you, Yama? Yamamoto-san. There. What? Well, look at. I don't know what that avatar means, but hey, I believe you can. Yamamoto-san. Never mind make no can. You know? Hey, how are you, Kuo? Aloha, my avatar crush. Huh? You looking good this morning? Huh? I know. <laughs> this morning was one of those mornings, I tell you. I, get, I I look up at the clock, I'm like, okay, you know, quarter after four or whatever in the morning here in Hawaii. And I'm like, whose idea was this? <laughs> I know. It says, happy trails. Oh, okay, big squirrel nuts. That's a good sign. Hey, goof morning. Uh, here's goof morning to the gang from big squirrel nuts. Hey, hey ku aloha. Hey, puppy Cheney. Aloha, and how's it, nice lady? <laughs> nice lady. <laughs> Sounds like something a little kid would say, yeah? How are you, nice lady? <laughs> uh, Good morning, Andy and the gang. Hot coffee and donuts. No, I don't want donut, but I do have hot coffee. Yeah, went back to this cup because that other one, I still have it. I, I, I put more coffee in that one so it stays hot, but was too hot. I know, I never thought I would say that. 
Hey, hey, Shakalaka hosting a stream. Oh, looks like we have to uh, anticipate her arrival soon. She's like Wild Willy. They host the stream before they come on to the chat. I know. I'm a kid at heart. Well, I never lose that puppy, Jenny. You know, that's the difference between childlike and childish, right? We like to think of ourselves as childlike. Eh? I like that, though. Good morning, nice lady. <laughs> oh. uh, hey, how you, Miles? <clears throat> yeah, I was thinking about you on one of the uh, polls today. Uh, I'll let you guess which one. Huh? Wow, Willie. How you? Good morning to you. Uh, well, Willie. Oh, get the Mickey Shaka, the number one. And I cannot tell the other one. <laughs> Whatever it is. <clears throat> yeah, as my faculties slowly slide downhill. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm wondering if I have to start getting stronger glasses. Ah, uh, I know. You know, I've only spent 191 days in a row staring at a screen for hours on end. But how could that affect your vision? I don't know. Hey, goof morning, uh, shakalaka, mahalo for the K. Oh, you're going to be busy today. Okay, appreciate the wellness check. Mahalo. Thanks, ah. Eh? I know, let's see who else is coming in here. We never see. Hey, did we say goof morning? Hey, how's it? My DJ 808. Mahalo for following my DJ uh, 808. I know what the 808 stands for. And sounds like you're into music, huh? Eh? I know. So anyway, I think I was saying aloha to Vicky Asatu. How are you? Huh? We just like to remind everyone that the uh, website, andybumatai.com, is up and running. And we have, uh, uh, under if you click the news part, you'll see some contributions from Nani Aloha and uh, C. Honda. I know. Oh, awesome. I can only stay till 6.30. I gotta teach. Oh, okay. Well, we got a little bit of time. Um, well, let's see. 6.30. Okay. Well, um, if in, in case you miss it, one of, the, one of the, uh, the polls I'll be doing today is, do you own a musical instrument? <laughs> I know. Uh, I'm, I'm blowing the punchline for other people, but, you know, I just wanted you to know I was thinking about that today. Oh, look at that. 6.04. I am late on doing the soft opening. Well, so let's do it now. Here we go. Daily Pigeon Live with Andy Bumatai. Ivala our planet, that's no lie. That's what the Hammer Jang Gang like for see. When we tune in, we get that guarantee. Daily Pigeon Live with Andy Bumatai. Turn on the camera and let him fly. He just give them no more plan. Like we always say, if can, can. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride as we spread aloha far and wide. Ooh, Emma Jane Gang and the Daily Pigeon Live. Yeah, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Daily Pigeon Live. My name is Andy Bumatai, and I will be your chat moderator. That's right. This is a chat show where we practice aloha. We'll talk a little more about that at a quarter after the hour when we officially start the show. But in the beginning here, we do what we call the romper room and just kind of say aloha to everyone who's uh, showing up. And there's Wild Willie. Mahalo for hosting the show also, Wild Willie. I saw that roulette circle coming in right there. You see that? How's it, roulette circle? Hope everything is going your way. I know, and you know too, right? Yeah, that's right. Rick, aloha. Weather looking good today. Huh? I love that. Well, don't question it. Just enjoy, brother. That's how. Ooh, SD Dodger. Hey, gonna K now. No work uh, for anniversary tomorrow. 
Oh, your anniversary coming up, eh? There you go. Enjoy and work today. Oh, and mahalo for the cheering. Uh, thanks so much, <clears throat> Nancy Nakamura. And I missed one while we were playing the opening there. I think uh, I forget who was, but mahalo to you too. Okay. Thanks, eh, for that cheering. Yeah. Now let's see what else is going on here. Um, I'm going to see if I miss anybody. Oh, I may have missed Nancy Nakamura, our party starter. Hi, you, Nancy. Ah, look at that. And she's saying hello to Wild Willie, Holy Boy, and Kuo Aloha. Ah, that's nice. Goof morning, everybody. Hi, you. Ah, let's see. Oh, hey, Joyce Lynn. Oh, nice to see you back again. Thanks, Seth, for joining us one more time. Okay, again, uh, for those of you just tuning in, in the beginning of the show, we just kind of like to uh, welcome everybody who shows up. Right now, we have about 33 people uh, coming in. Yeah, these are the early birds, all the people who show up uh, before quarter after the hour, which will happen soon. Um, but uh, until then, I think I'm looking for people that we never say aloha kakahi akatu. Yeah, kind of a mellow morning here, you guys. So, uh, you know what? In fact, I'll tell you what. Let's do, let's play a, a mellow video, okay? Uh, this is a little thing we call uh, kahalu'u time. Um, for those of you maybe just joining us, uh, every once in a while we play these, we call them uh, manini, which means small in Hawaiian, uh, manini movies, little movies about different areas. I take a different area, right, that I drove through with my truck or motorcycle with a GoPro on it, and then I add stock footage that I get from these services I use. There's no rhyme or reason to uh, any of the images, so don't go, eh, I don't want to have horses in Kahala, you know, or any of that kind of stuff, but uh, just a way to maybe make them a little more interesting. So here's something very, uh, very mellow to start our day off as we take a small cruise through Kahalu'u.
There you go, a little something mellow to ease us into the day here and the morning. We had some new people coming on too, huh? Look, boring pilot, how are you? Hey, photo look, how's your brother? Yeah, people already commenting that they love the footage on your website, Photo Look Hawaii. Check that out, you guys, if you want to see some uh, great footage of Hawaii and hear Luke talk about what's going on nowadays. I know. Hey, Nalulolo, how are you? Aloha. Yeah, good to see you here. Yeah, I, I saw Lid a little on a post uh, that you got a new keyboard. Oh, hey, I'm in a meeting, so uh, the show is mute, and I am sorry not to reply to anyone. But I saw my name go by. Ooh, look, and there's a big picture of you too. You probably inspachanized that one too, eh? That's right, that's good. Eh, do what you can. See here, here's the, uh, the post I was talking about. Hey, I'm typing slow today. I got a new keyboard for my iPad and I'm all hammer jang with it. If I miss saying hi to you, it's not because I don't have, I don't love you. <laughs> it's a new keyboard problem and I think we've all been there at one time or another. If you're lucky, actually, I think. New keyboard, whoo, good fun, eh? Hey, Victoria, how are you? Goof morning to you, how's it? Hey, who, uh oh, Tina Rose gonna tell us about her dream. Oh, last night, never have any mosquito pizza, just dog knocking on the door to come in. <laughs> Oh man, that is a dedicated dog, Tina, because you know they don't have knuckles, huh? So they gotta use their elbow. Talk, talk, talk. I know. It's hard. And their elbow goes the other way, you know. I know. So, uh, but. <laughs> I hear you knocking, but you can't come in. Oh, usually they scratch. I, you know, we, uh, we have a dog that uh, passed away some years ago. But, you know, we had her from when she was a puppy. And on the front of our door, uh, when she wants to go out, she used to scratch on it. And we never really, we never fixed the scratch marks that she left because it reminds us of her wanting to go out. And uh, Tina Rose Cager, our dog scratched because she never learned how to knock. I know, so the dog in your dream is lucky. How's it, Rick Irakawa? Hey, good morning to you. <clears throat> Let's see. Boring pilot. I can't type worth a damn. <laughs> Very well put. Thank you. Oh, I know, Will, Will Willie. When she passed away, we did that thing too where you take the plaster and you make the paw print, you know. We have that up on our shelf. Oh, that was the best dog ever. It was a uh, Pitbull Sharpe. Loved my wife. I know, just big black and, you know, and very intimidating looking dog. And my, my wife would walk uh, her and people would cross the street and go to the other side <laughs> when they saw my wife walking with the dog. And, you know, here's this little Japanese girl walking with this big black dog. <laughs> I I was I loved it, you know. <clears throat> oh, here's uh, Victoria saying, "How's it to plenty people right there?" Look, oh, how's it, friends? Oh, I love that. Okay, hi, do. Aloha, goof morning to you. Aloha, Andy and Gengi. Sorry if I no respond. I don't know Twitch at all. Eh, no worry. <clears throat> Me either. I know. So you know. Hey, David, how's it? Oh, look, he's already saying aloha to people right there. Stop, Andy Bumatai. <laughs> what? Oh, I know what. You, you're missing one dog. Huh? I know. Oh, I could, I could break your heart with stories from that dog, but I will not. We will move on. Hey. Oh, Vicky Asato. Okay. Thanks, sir. Uh, Vicky Asato joins the K crew with Shakalaka right there. Mm hmm. Let's see what time we got. Oh, we're running about two minutes late on everything I do. Well, at least I'm consistent, okay? At quarter after the hour, we always like to officially start the show. So, what say we do that? Here we go. Gather round 
Oh, man. Click the wrong button there for a second. Oh, my goodness. Let's get to this shot over here and see if, uh, okay, it's back and it's working. Whoo! Well, it has to be working because I got to do my little speech, right? And that is, how's it, everybody? And welcome to the Daily Pigeon Live. My name is Andy Bumatai, and we always start our show with a little speech, and it goes like this. This is a chat show that practices aloha, which means we are kind, respectful, and show compassion for one another. In fact, we call everyone in the chat group here the Hamajang Gang. Hamajang in Hawaiian Pidgin English means all mixed up because we have people from all walks of life, some of which have very strong opinions on certain subjects. Well, if you have one of those opinions that might spark a flame war and get people typing in all caps, all mad at each other, please leave those opinions at the door when you take off your rubber slipper from Come Inside the Daily Pigeon Live because here we concentrate on what brings us together, what we have in common, not what separates us, okay? In fact, we avoid what we call the three calls, political, medical, and cynical, okay? So if can can, we would appreciate that. And you notice we speak small kind pidgin English just to remind those who have been to Hawaii or maybe grew up here, um, you know, about small kid time, as we call it, okay? So uh, there we go. Thanks, eh? And uh, here's an interesting um, post from Rick S. who's asking Photo Luke Hawaii, can I request you do a cocoa a stair hike? I did that one last August. Just joking. It almost took me out. <laughs> so there we go. And uh, Green Man uh, is saying to Do, hey, we all still learning a Twitch, eh? No shame. That's how we support each other here. You see what I'm saying? So if you have something to say, no shame, throw them out. And again, this is a spelling free zone. So just type them, no shame. Better you get something out than go, oh, how you spell anti disestablishmentarianism? Oh, no, no scared. Just go for it, okay? And here's Cindy Krause saying, I had a terrier that saw the Jehovah Witness guy ring my doorbell, and from that day on, uh, she would ring to tell you to let her in. Wow, if I ignored the bell, she would ding dong, ding dong. The, the dog rang the bell? Wow, how the heck they reach him? Wow. <laughs> That's a smart dog. Okay, Rick Iwakawa joining the K crew. K is when someone is lurking and they cannot type or maybe, you know, they don't like whatever. But uh, so, in, you know, we ask the lurkers, no shame, just hit the K. Okay, we call them the K crew and uh, we call the K the wellness check. Like here's Danny, right? She, maybe she's busy with something, but once uh, to let us know that she's in the background, kind of, you know, watching the show. Um, you know, and doing other things. That started with, you know, remember, I don't know how many times you've ever texted somebody a big long text and they get back with K. <laughs> right? Well, <clears throat> we went embraced the K. That's right. We own it. That's right. So that's what the K's are when you see the K crew checking in. Huh? Oh, uh, what? Let's see, needing to hear this song. What song? What song you like? Is it something we play? Let me know, uh, Victoria. We'll do what we can to get it to you, right? Okay, let's see. Let me get to the bottom, see if I miss anything. Again, the chat is moving quick like a swift. Hey, C Honda, I just saw your weather forecast. <laughs> oh, is that good? I, I really missed the pigeon talk. Oh, wow, Joycelyn, no shame. Boss them out here then, eh? That's right. <laughs> That's how I know people. Whoa. Yeah, I know. Hard to shake the pow eh, when you go to restaurants. Uh, excuse me, are you finished? Oh, yeah, pow. Well, bang, bang to you, too. Huh? Well, what you talking about? Oh, I don't know. Okay. Hey, Popolo Brada in the house. How are you, beef stew? Huh? Looking good? I hope things are okay with you. 
Pokoliti, aloha. Wow, a lot of work, eh? Oh, Pokoliti, people trying to support whatever endeavor you are into. I know. Okay, I'm going to try to get to the bottom of the chat, and then we will start our first poll. Hey, aloha, and the end, gengi. I don't know, Miles might still be here and catch this first poll because I was thinking about him when we did that. Hey, big squirrel nuts. Oh, aloha, Gil. Okay, people stay, still saying how's it to everybody. There we go. I'm at the bottom. Okay, let's check out our first poll. I did all these early this morning, so sorry if kind of lala bag, but you know, <laughs> uh, this is without coffee that I came up with this stuff. The first one is, do you own a musical instrument? Do you have a musical instrument in your house? That's right. Okay, let's start the poll. And that poll will be at the top of the chat. Oops, no, it's not there, right there. There's the top of the chat. Okay, and then the, the uh, choices are yes, no, yes, but I don't play it. Oh, yeah, I say puka all the time and my friends don't understand me. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, I know puka is another one. Oh, you puka bibidis. <laughs> they go, excuse me, you have what? <laughs> uh, I have a bull mastiff. Ooh, big softy. Yeah, I know. People think the big ones. You know, I talked to a vet one time, Sandra, and uh, and she told me that it's the the small dogs that bite the most. She says the big dogs are like you know big like you say big softies. You know, I said all oh, pow at a restaurant here, and the server just stared at me. I know, but sometimes huh? oh pow oh you find the islands. You ever had that one? That's good. Just about to sign off. Caught, caught you. Caught me though. Okay. Enjoy uh, working with uh, your students there, Miles. Thank you. Look at this. Seventy-two percent have a musical instrument in their home, and nine percent do not. And eight, and so far, nineteen percent do have it, but they don't play it. Oh, maybe you gotta contact Miles, huh? Yeah. Good morning, Andy and the gang. How are you, Chucky? All the way from San Francisco, checking in. Thanks, ah. Uh. Ooh, not sure how. No, 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 no. You, Miles, don't even go there. Come on, you, you teach music. Of course, you're gonna have plenty, right? <laughs> but uh, you know, some people. Uh, I have probably one, two, three, four. Well, it, I don't know. I have a bunch of harmonicas. I used to play harmonicas. Spoons count. If you play them, Tina, spoons count. So throw in the uh, washboard at the same time. Yeah, yeah, so you get two now. How's that? Okay, gotta go, Gangi. All right. Enjoy, Miles. Mahalo for showing face. Hey, how's it? Hey, ladies and gentlemen, Kenny in Kihei in the house. How you, Beef Stew? Huh? I know some, someone uh, said, well, who gonna be here first, Kenny or Lolo? And I went, hey, you know what, go on. I didn't say anything, but uh, we, we're trying to uh, let Kenny and Lono off the hook with who gonna be here first. I do, a guitar, a bass, drums, and keyboard. Oh, Gil, you get your own band going there, right? Oh, that's good, you're getting off. Goof morning, everybody. Yeah, there we go. That's Sandra saying, how's it? Ah! Oh, releasing some dolphins, eh, you? Mahalo, Joyce Lynn. When I say releasing dolphins, we, you know, like when you laugh, people say you release endorphins. Well, us guys, we say release the dolphins. That's right. So, hmm. yes, I have a ukulele, one big Okinawan drum for bond dance and a small one too. Oh, <laughs> oh you, you, you perform at Bond Dance. No wonder you liked that video we did. Andy, I used to play classical violin for about eight years, a long time ago. Boss them out, Popolo brother. Come on, we like here. But you know, it's hard sometimes when you go back to an instrument, yeah? Because your mind remember, but your body forgot. 
That's how I feel about surfing. <laughs> I know. I still have my flute. I played in middle and high school. Need to pull it out and see if I can still play it. Oh yeah. Don't don't uh, don't put too much pressure on yourself though, uh, VC. I played flute in uh, in middle school and high school. Yeah. I was. Uh, and everybody goes, Hey, you're a guy. You're gonna play flute. Guys play trumpet. I said, <clears throat> I like sit by the girls. <laughs> I'm serious, that was my rationale. And then pretty soon there I was. Oh, excuse me, how do you make the C? <laughs> oh, I know. Eh, when you're young, eh? Piano! Learn to read notes and play about 10 years ago. Well, time to bust it out, Sandra. Get there, hit the keys when nobody's around. Yeah, have good fun. Instruments for kids. I don't play. Oh, you mean you have your instruments and they're for your kids. Instruments aren't just for kids, if that's what you mean. Kind of like the cereal. <laughs> I am not musically inclined at all. Don't have that part of the brain, right side or left side. That's why I admire people like Lono and Kenny and Miles. You know, Puppy Jane, you'd be surprised, you know. Yeah, um, you know, like, you know, it's funny uh, how they don't call percussionists musicians sometimes. In fact, every band, you know, every every uh, band I toured with, every musical uh, artist, <laughs> they used to say, okay, could all the musicians come here? Yeah, the musicians and the drummer. Come on. <laughs> that was a joke. Uh, but uh, I still have my flute from the sixth grade and still play. Oh, good for you. I know. Go buy some Jethro Tull albums if you like rock and roll. You might be too young to remember who that was, but Jethro Tull, that's who I was uh, emulating. In fact, I have a high school, um, uh, I mean, I have a yeah high school yearbook picture, and I told him my name was Jethro Tull. That's why everybody goes, hey, you know, I, I was looking at for 10th grade. You weren't there. I didn't see you in the annual. I said, you got to look under Jethro Tull. <laughs> I have too many musical instruments, electric, acoustic guitars, ukulele, drums. That's right on. And <clears throat> what? You play them or what? Huh? That would be the big question. Nurse Bond. No. Okay. Oh, okay. Oops, wrong one. I went click on Wild Willy, but I meant to hit Nurse Bond. There we go. Woo Willie saying, how's it to Yamamoto-san? There we go. A special good morning to Wild Willie and Howley Boy too. Oh yeah. Washboard is fun. Yeah. Hard to play that without being annoying also. Yeah. Okay, Miles, we here. <laughs> Miles got enough instruments for everybody in the Hamajan gang, I think. I know. Hey, I said aloha, uh, Kenny. This is from DJ Smoke. Kenny. Gee, Kenny, do you own any musical instruments? I was just wondering. Ah. I know, that's today's poll. 67 so far say yes, right? 14, no. And 19% um, yes, but I don't play it. Oh, the poor sad musical instrument waiting at home. Oh, ah, I get Guitar Hero game. Count, yes, definitely count, but uh, you playing them, huh? That's how, because you can say, I play guitar game, and just drop the game real low volume like that, okay? I also have an ukulele. Oh, that's very good. Musical, does radio count? Mm, no, I am so sorry. You cannot play the radio, you turn the radio on. Now, if you take the radio and bang on it, then it counts, Rick, okay? So, just every once in a while on the radio playing, just tap on them, then you can say, you are a musician. Yeah. I like your expression on all mad at each other. All mad at each other. Oh, hey, El Bombero. 83 is now following 
Dankeschön. El Bombero. Bombero. Bombero? Bombero. I, I want to say Bombero and do that kind of rolling R thing. Maybe I am mispronouncing it. Sorry, yeah. But thanks for following. Appreciate it. Ooh, a eh. Wild Willie just with the little Mickey. Shaka right there. Huh. Kenny and Kihei, do you have t shirts too? Tina Rose is asking if you have. There we go. My sister played flute. Small kid time, I remember her playing Color My World by Chicago. <laughs> oh, that's a nice memory. Kualoha is now hosting the stream. Hey, mahalo, Avatar Crush. I appreciate that. Steve Yosh. Hey, good morning. That's from Kualoha right there. Okay. I took home economics in high school for the same reason. Mostly girls in the class, I know. Hey, you'd be surprised how many guys couldn't let their masculinity, you know, oh, we're going to take shop class. I say, you know what? <laughs> you work on your project. I'll work on mine. Oh. Ah, Andy Bumatai, guys playing flute uh, is okay with me. Yeah. How many guys uh, were in your flute section, you know? <clears throat> Two trumpets, cornet, French horn, flute, plane, ukulele, and recorder. Oh, that's good. Does the stereo count? Um, well, like I was saying, if you bang on it while it's playing, you know, like, you know, let's say you put on Highway Star by Deep Purple. If you... Then it counts, Kenny. But if not, you can only count your... 57 guitars that I know you have laying around. Um, I did the same, Puppy Cheney. Good fun. Okay, let's see if we can get to. Oh, hey! The, 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 um, the kind when. Oh, and I never noticed. Okay, but hold on. Let's see if we can find it. Where'd it go? Oh, oh I lost it. Ah, oh, bummer. It's okay. <clears throat> well, we know um, most people did, <clears throat> and uh, kind of plenty. Jethro Tull, good one, Andy. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Let's see here. Trying to get Spoonman. I know, there we go. I have 12 guitars. I knew it. 12. Wow. Oh, boy, I can't even do that guitar hero sad case i am no you're not sad everybody has different talents yours might be in another area you can tune a radio yes but you can't tune a fish i know i don't know why that is hey how's it hey aloha kakahiaka hey lono ah, how are you lono good morning is it raining in molokai i don't know is it? It could. Cindy, hey, let me check. Uh, no. That took him a long time. Two trumpets. Yeah, I know. You mentioned that. Uh, Kehalani. I'm sorry I don't have any merch yet. <clears throat> I'll let you know when it happens. Oh, that would be nice. Hmm. Hey, here's, uh, <clears throat> oh, Nanette. How are you? Aloha to everyone. Ooh, slick, Andy. Oh, what I did that was slick. I don't know. I cannot. Oh, oh, I get it. Don't tell me the tuna fish thing was slick. That was it. it was kind of quick. <laughs> um, hey, I could use a good vibe sent my way today. John and I have to take a pabu to the vet again. No way. We think uh, he might have a feather and beak virus. Oh no. And if you want to look it up, I hope it's not the case, but we uh, are pretty convinced it is. Could be bad for the whole flock side of the family. <gasps> oh no. So that's kind of like their little virus going from bird to bird. Oh man, well, we, we have our fingers crossed. Okay, everybody. <clears throat> 
Let's send the positive vibes to Victoria and her birds because they might have a beak and feather virus. I hope I never get that. I know. Oh, hey, shakalaka. Welcome back. Ah, you saw us throwing your, um, your avatar on the screen trying to distract you from your meeting. Ah, you inspokanized that. I don't know. Oh, no, Victoria. Not good. Well, let's hope it's uh, not as bad as people with pets tend to think it is when they head to that building. Oh. Oh, Andy, I got I gotta have band class look like tap 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 key of C, everyone. Ooh, key of C. I know. What was that? That's a joke that never worked. I said, yeah, I got a piano play. A, 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 I got a piano player friend. He's very prejudiced. He only plays in the key of C. Nobody ever got that joke. <clears throat> okay. Oh. Tomorrow poll, how many instruments do you own? Oh boy. <laughs> well, we know who's gonna win. Uh, yeah, okay, let me think about that one. We did do you own an instrument, but uh, okay. Okay, let me try to get to the bottom of the chat and we'll play another little uh, Manini movie and maybe fire another one up. Oh man, it's heartbreaking but trying to stay positive since we don't know for certain yet. Yeah. Oh, hey, mahalo, uh, Dan, for the 10 bits. Appreciate the cheering. Thanks, ah. Uh. Oh, and there's Wild Willy with five. Oh, you guys, so nice. Thanks so much. Yeah, you know, <clears throat> Victoria, hey, uh, don't think the worst on the way there, you know, and cross bridges when you come to it. That's, that's, uh, you know, because if why worry when you before you have to, you know, that's that's the way I do things. It's like, OK, well, and I'm not talking about a pet. I learned that when I was talking about me. <laughs> I know, Danny, mahalo for the seven bits. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Danny. OK, holy boy. OK, photo Luke. Nice track up to the falls this morning. Ooh, nice shirts, huh? Also very cool. Yeah, I gotta go check that out. Okay. I'm trying to move quick like a swift. Danny, hey. Oh, oh, oh. chanting. That's the health chant for your bird right there from for uh, Danny uh, BC. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. What did we do? Okay, since it's Thursday, Let's play the Thursday song, huh? Here we go. It wasn't supposed to go this way when I met you yesterday I didn't need you next to me Am I the kind that you expected me to be? It's getting a little warm Crack the window, please I'll pump the gas if you run inside Grab a couple tall boys and a honey pie and Yesterday is far away And tomorrow you'll be gone It wasn't supposed to go this way Sweet, sweet, sweet Sweet Thursday
Ten million people and maybe more out on the highway in a dusty storm. Two lonesome losers in a stolen dream, heading straight for nowhere in a suicide machine. If you see the lights flashing, push the pedal down. Over the border, they can't get us there. Between the two of us, we'll make it if we share. And yesterday is far away, and tomorrow you'll be gone. It wasn't supposed to go. This way, sweet, 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 sweet Thursday. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> I like that. Uh, I like that line too, Green Man. Suicide machines. You know, it says uh, two lonesome losers in what did he call it? Um, in, in a stolen dream. <laughs> I know. Oh, that's so, yeah, it, it sounds so Gordon Lightfoot, but uh, <laughs> someone called him Gor Gordon Heavyfoot, but uh, I like that song. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> you rocking that great weather today. That's right. Uh, J uh, <clears throat> Brian in the house, all the way from Winnipeg. He's just going to show face, and then uh, he's evidently going to be busy today, right? Brian. Oops, what happened? Oh, there we go. There he is. How's that? Holy Toledo. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but uh, there we go. Oh, oh hey, look at this. Uh, I was on Wolfie's channel the other day. He's been gaming quite a bit. Yeah, I get his notices. He and his wife, evidently, yeah? Oh, hey, mahalo, DJ. Schmook. Appreciate it. Thanks, ah. Huh? Ooh, let's see. Great song and video. Oh, thank you, VC. Oops. This is the one I meant for click. Hey, how come VC no like come up? Oh, there she is. Ooh, smoke and resistant there, eh, your avatar. No, that's all right. Well, let's see. Uh, Photo Luke does a better job than the state is doing. Lucky we have him here. Oh, Keeping our canoe going. Oh, you know what, Lono? I tell you what, Photo Luke, that's high compliment coming from Lono, because that brought us speak the truth. See, Honda and Nani Aloha have great articles at those three uh, um, stars there because they won't let you put a link, but it's andybumatai.com on the website. In court, in, uh, including the first accidental show. Great reads and fun. Check it out. Oh, mahalo kehaulani. Yeah, um, we went live with um, uh, uh, my my the revamp of my website, andybumatai.com. And if you click on news, you can read the articles by Nani Aloha and C. Honda. Um, and <laughs> yeah, the one of uh, Nani Aloha talks about from... When we went live accidentally 191 days ago. Hey, mahalo, Steven, for our subscription. Appreciate it. Thanks. Hey, you baga. Hey, Cisco. Hey, Cisco's in the house, bro. Oh, hey, what's going on? Uh oh. How come it? Oh, there we go. Boop. Sometimes the things are like click on eyes, but hey, goof morning to you, Cisco. How's it? Everything okay? Okay, let's do, uh, oh man, wait. <laughs> Empty big ol. Okay, just saying how's it to a few people right here. I've missed, just woke up, still getting the makapia pia out my eye. Oh, okay. What, Cisco stay? Yup, Cisco's right there. Oh, hey, come on, right there is what Lono was asking. Ah. Uh, there we go. Okay, so 
Here's the next poll, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> the question is, do you wish you were taller? Huh? Okay. Let's start the poll. Boop. Okay. Now let's see if I can do this without... Okay, there it is. It showed up on the top of the chat. Do you wish you were taller? Okay. Oh, photo look, mahalo for the website, love. Thank you for uh, making the time to, taking the time to look at it. Yeah, well, we all get websites now. Huh? So, uh, you know what? I wonder if we should do that. What's today? Wednesday? I mean, Thursday? Maybe tomorrow, you know? Let me, let me think of that. Maybe we should uh, kind of... It's been a while since we did a website cruise, right? We can go cruise everybody's website because we haven't been to Tina Rose Cager. She has a website, dragging, dragonmyass.com, where she sells her jewelry. And uh, Danny Settle, right, has... Uh, what is it? Uh, Garden Fun... Uh, gar garden, oh, I forget. Yeah, but and you know, and she where she sells her garlic, right? VC has their website, and then so does Photo Luke, and I have mine now. Um, <clears throat> you know what? If you have a website, maybe uh, you want to pimp out a, a little bit, send me an email <clears throat> to info at bumatai.com, and then maybe we can uh, feature your website. You know, I wonder if we sh uh, would do that tomorrow. Yeah, let me know. Let's see if I can remember. <clears throat> okay, prepare yourself. Cisco has a long question. Has anyone checked their Twitch account? The monthly fees should be $4.99 a month, and I've been charged $24. What? And $20 on October. So I can uh, others check their accounts. They are not make sure they are not overcharging. I had to pay PayPal and Amazon who owns, uh, I guess that's a website, and they told me that they do not see the charges on their site under my log name. So check your charges. Oh, mahalo for the update, uh, Cisco. Yes, um, <clears throat> you know, it's, it's I think $4.99 a month, but you can, pay like 24 and then you get six months or whatever yeah but hey you guys check mahalo for the uh, heads up there cisco we got to make sure that's cool okay let me know if you have problems because maybe i i don't know if i could help it at, in any way but if anyone does and and again uh my my um email is here okay so if, you if you're having issues with uh, your Twitch account and monthly fees, or you have a website that you'd like us to mention, do that, right? Okay. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, yes, she has some beautiful jewelry, uh, uh, Tina Rose Cager does. It's dragon, like, like fire-breathing dragon, dragonmyass.com, VC. Check it out. Yeah. Uh, in fact, uh, and then there was uh, Stephen, Stephen Espanola's wife had Lama Lama, I think LamaLama.com, where she sold the perfumes that make uh, that smell like Hawaii. <laughs> That's that I know. So, anyway, <laughs> okay. Wow, look, fifty-fifty. Yes, I wish I was taller. No, I I'm I do not wish I was taller. That's pretty good, man. Oh. I saw Keola P's YouTube yesterday. Oh, check it out. You cannot comment though, right? Because he has his comments turned off. But he does uh, definitely see when people uh, are there because the count goes up. Yeah, we can, oh yeah, I forgot Keola P's YouTube. But that's a YouTube channel. That's not really a website. But maybe we can go check those out too. I don't know. We'll figure it out. <clears throat> if I were taller, I would be the perfect weight. <laughs> You know, my 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 uh, uh, physician told me that. You know that. You know when you go in for that yearly uh, checkup. You know, and one he says, you know, Andy, <clears throat> I think you you either have to do um, you either have to lose some weight or get about three feet taller. <laughs> I know. I gained weight there for a while, man. O M G. 
Oh, my tennis game would improve with extended range. Yeah, there. So, oh, no, but my age has shrunk me. Oh, you got, you shrunk? You know, I haven't done that to check if I got, uh, that happens, they say, right? Because your spinal cord compresses or stuff. I am a proud 5'2 in height. Oh, cute. Yeah, easy to find clothes too, yeah. Is it? I don't know. No, I'm already six foot six. Well, <clears throat> you don't need to be taller. My son is six two, I think. I know, I'm five eight. Oh. I I did a single payment of $24.99 or something for six months. That's what I was thinking. That that's how it uh, you know, and I appreciate that you guys. Thank you so much for doing that. But again, if you have any issues. I don't know what I can do, but I'll give my best shot. Never made it to five feet. Oh, another couple inches would be nice, but no more chance, I think. Well, heels, <laughs> yeah. Get some stilettos for walking around the desert. <laughs> Andy, the amazing thing about you going accidentally live is your adaptability and ability to smoothly go right into being a congenial host. Oh, well, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, you, you remember in the beginning, right? When I was always apologizing. Okay, I'm just learning this. I'm trying. And I still feel that way, you know. But thank you so much. Okay, Alani. Appreciate it. I will see if they hit me again. Thanks for the heads up. Yeah, watch you guys. Uh, um, PayPal or however you do it, you know. Mahalo, Andy, for sharing my website. Oh, you're welcome. See there? Oh, there's, you can kind of see it on her avatar right there. It's dragon, like fire-breathing dragon. Yeah, but you know, let's, let's, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can do that tomorrow. You know, um, load them up and, because I can go to websites, right? Hey, maybe four inches taller. Husband is six one. Uh, don't want to be taller than him. I enjoy looking at my tall Marine. Oh, how cute is that? Wow. Oh. <clears throat> oh, what's this? Right. No comments. Yeah. Can I comment on Keola P's site? Oh. I too am not overweight. I'm under tall. <laughs> Yeah, that's what, that's us shakalaka. Mm. Oh, I never heard that before. I'm not overweight. I'm on the tall. <laughs> I just like that. I just like the inch back that I lost since I got older. Oh, there we go. I'm 5'10". I'm good where I'm at. Okay, well, it's good to be, uh, you know, happy. I'm 5'2". I would love six, I would love six one. <gasps> really? Oh man, six, you would want to be, you would want to be six feet, one inch. Is that what I'm reading? I could be wrong, but wow. Women don't usually like to be over six feet. So that's interesting, unless you're a model, you know, and then yeah, you know, she's six feet and she weighs 57 pounds. Huh? I know. I never play basketball good. Tall would have helped. Okay. So, so far, 57% say yes, they would like to be taller. And 43% um, say no. <gasps> wow. I'm 5'3". A tall friend asked me once what it was like to never see the top of things like refrigerators. <laughs> Who wants to see the top of the refrigerator? <laughs> right? Nalulolo, you can say, no, in fact, you clean it. I know. I did wonder about the dragon and the donkey. Yeah. That was on her avatar. Yeah, Shakalaka. That's her website. I don't know if you've been there, but the jewelry is beautiful and fairly priced. And I think there's a discount for Hamajang. Uh, gang people. I don't know if she's still doing that. I miss wearing my platform shoes. I was taller then. Well, 
Boss them out, girlfriend. No worry. Ah. <clears throat> Aku aloha. Same here, but I'm 6'2", and I love... And my love is five feet. We make a good team. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> Uh-oh, what happened here? When I, was, when I got my accident with my broken leg and was in recovery, the nurse aide asked me what weight I told them uh, to 12 and then okay and that was right on the money then she asked me uh, uh, my height i said five nine so they measured me and told me i was five ten how the hell you gain an inch after an accident falling off a ladder you're swollen <laughs> did you hit your head <laughs> vertically challenged oh big squirrel nuts uh oh okay there the the uh 56 yes they wish, no, 58 wish they were taller, and 42, no, they're happy where they're at. Yeah, that's interesting. Didn't expect that. Hey, shaka kakahiaka, how's it, Iluakani? Oh, there we go. Okay. Hey, you can be an inch taller in the morning as your spine compressed, as your spine compressed. <gasps> I didn't know that. <clears throat> Good morning, Dave the teacher. Oh, did we miss Dave the teacher coming on? I'm going back trying to find Dave the teacher showing up, but oh, I gotta go back too fast. I'm gonna bail out any moment, and I have decided to bail. Oops, sorry, Dave the teacher, but good to have you here. <clears throat> oh. Oh, I, I see. Shakalaka says, everyone is taller in the morning and then the spinal column compresses throughout the day. What if you hang upside down for a little while? Would that help? I bet you it would. I'm 5'3". If I had one more inch, then I would lift the inseam of my pant. Then I would fit the inseam of my pants better. Oh. <laughs> All the people, uh, can you buy shorter pants? I don't know. Hey, 100 bits from Photo Luke. Hey, brah, above and beyond. Mahalo. Thank you. Wow, okay. Is everyone else getting Andy's constantly freezing? Uh, hey, you know, uh, Keholani, right over here uh, on your screen, there's a little gear. If you click on the screen, right you'll see a little gear pop up if you click on that gear right then um there's a little thing it says quality you can you can lower the quality i broadcast in 1440 which is very high quality right but you can lower your, the resolution you watch it in and that sometimes uh helps with the freezing because what it's doing is it's loading all my uh, high quality stuff and then when it has enough it's right try that let me know if it works okay sorry about that kaolani i should have mentioned uh recently um uh, you're the first one to to i've been doing this for about two weeks now you're the first one to mention that it's freezing you know it's it, well, it's the technical uh it's um ah brain it's lagging, but there's a, um, a buffering. It's buffering is what they, they call it. Oh. Uh, I could use my taping stilts and join the circle, a uh, circus. I've seen those, really. Andy, short women's sizes are difficult be, uh, unless you are really thin. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I wouldn't know. I, I, it's been since a while since I bought pants. I live in jeans, and like I was saying uh, a while back, you know, th probably two or three jeans that I wear a lot, I got from my son. He outgrew them. Woo. Okay, I restarted, and now it's fine. Thanks. 
Okay, but check that quality thing if it happens again, uh, Kehaulani. I do that, I, I broadcast in 1440 because the videos look way better, right? They're not, a, a, they're not pixelated and stuff. Ladies, do we agree not to complain about pockets? Pockets? Well, well, I, I don't catch. What you mean the lack of or the size of pockets or or whatever? Oh, are we talking about jeans, uh, shakalaka? I am not sure. I am 4'10 and need to use a step stool to get clothes out of the washing machine. <laughs> oh, do you have one of those stackable ones? Is that what is that is that what's up? <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> Oh, Keholani. Who thanks. Thought was only me. Oh, you guys say stuff if if uh, if if you're having buffering or whatever, okay? But again, Sandra, uh, go to that little you know that little that little gear that's over here, and um, you have to click on the screen to see it. You know, just click anywhere on the screen, like right on my nose, beep, and then you'll see the gear pop up. Okay. Andy, women's clothing you, uh, usually have no pockets or they're too small to be functional. Oh, I haven't noticed that. I guess uh, normally when I'm looking at a woman's pants, I'm not looking for pockets. That's interesting. Wow. Start a brand called Pockets. <laughs> and that have them. Andy, regular washing machine. Wow. Really? Oh, so very true, Vicky. Wow, I'm learning something here. Pockets. Designer uh, prioritized look over utility. Very annoying. Unless you're the one looking at them. <laughs> I, I, you know what? I just, I just had a flashback. Remember All in the Family, right? Hey, thanks for the hundred bid, shakalaka. Uh, in all of in in All in the Family, oh, you have a limited time. Oh, what the oh the uh, what what they call that? Train um, hype train is is some you guys started a hype train. Don't worry about it, you know. But. Uh, Wild Willie just cheered too. Yeah, if you guys cheer like even just one bit, I think that it, it adds to the hype train. But anyway, I was saying on um, talking about pockets on jeans. Um, you remember Meathead <laughs> on uh, All in the Family? And he was talking about when he met, uh, you know, uh, Archie's daughter, right? And, and he says, she was walking away and I just remember the pockets doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Something to that effect. Hey, Vicky, mahalo for the 10 bitties. Appreciate it. The hype train is at 20%. And there's Gil Sato coming in with another four bits. And we are at 20% on the hype train. Whoo. <laughs> uh, I'm watching on my iPhone 6. My problem is your talking doesn't match your lips. Oh, well, let's pretend you're watching a kung fu movie. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry about that, uh, Doc. I don't know what to do about that either. Um, that, that there's a setting, um, and some you know sometimes when I go back and I watch it. Uh, oh, hey, mahalo, Cindy. You guys killing it on the hype train. We got. Oh, we're at thirty percent, thirty-one percent now. Mean. Oh, there's C Honda. Another five biddies, and we're up to thirty-two <clears throat> percent. Yeah. Um, Sometimes when I watch the rerun on Twitch, the, the mouth doesn't match. I don't know what to do about that, but when I put the replay on YouTube, it, it does match. So it's, it's, it's past my pay grade. Hey, Kanehikili, mahalo for a hundred bits. Wow. Thanks, hey, you guys. Hype train is rolling, and there's Krabby Ooh, with another 10 bits. How come the hype train isn't moving? Oh, sub gift, use uh, bits to get to the next level. Oh, he, 33, 
There's Steven with another 10 biddies. Thank you, guys. Oh, Lono, my man, I don't have your address. Uh, do wasn't my email, my phone number, or can you give me yours? Uh, you can whisper each other, uh, you guys, so that, you know, the world doesn't see what's going on. But his, uh, his email is lono at lonomusic.com, Puhalani. Thanks, S. Indy, for the bits. Thomas the Turtle coming in with three bits. Solid. Thanks, hey, you guys. Yeah. Uh, Pulani local. <clears throat> Just a reference to your new 420 law there. Ah. Oh. I crack up when the movie plays mismatched with the talking. Oh, yeah. Oh. <clears throat> uh, okay. Aloha, gang. Oh, yeah. Cisco got a clean house again. Steam clean the carpets because have animals. Plus, daughter does not know or want to do housework. These kids nowadays, gone fun it. I know. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't, you know, the uh, the hype train kind of killed the... Uh, the um, the pole, but where we where I lo I'm lost. Okay. Hmm. Thank you, Marmac, for the uh, for the five biddies. Um, let's let's see where the hype train is. We're at thirty five percent. When we get to a hundred, I think you get a special emotes and that kind of stuff. But hey, thanks to all you guys. Appreciate it, man. Thanks so much. Cisco, enjoy the day. That's from Green Man right there. Okay, later, Cisco. Uh, ku aloha, saying have a great day. Oh. Okay, now I want uh, Cisco to adopt me. <laughs> and you can get steam cleaned by him, huh? Shakalaka. That's how. Right there. Hey, Dan Lozano. How's that? Hey, mahalo for the 100 bits, Dan. Appreciate it. Ooh, look at that uh, avatar. Oh, I know. Paul Pau, we all perfect. Oh, thank you, Tina Rose. You know what? Again, uh, I did these polls early this morning because um, <clears throat> yesterday I was doing other stuff. I try to do the polls and, you know, and, and uh, make the little movies uh, before I go to sleep at night, but... Last night I didn't. Uh, Andy, did you get a chance to see what I wrote after I saw you, uh, LB Sun motorcycle, Sea Hunter? My motorcycle. No, I don't. I don't. What is LB Sun? I saw you. No, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what you're talking about, uh, Pualani. Um, you know, it, it, the best way to do things is really email me if you have to. Um, I don't I don't remember seeing anything. You know, S sorry about that. Um, Lono. <clears throat> Lono, does your park have swings? Swings in the rain are fun sometimes. Wow, sounds dangerous. Oh, Elvis motorcycle video. Oh, and did you get a chance and and wrote after I saw it? N no. Oh, oh, the Elvis. Oh, thank you, Wild Willie. Um, did you get a chance to see what I wrote after I saw? Oh, you mean on the video itself? No, I, I didn't see that. Um, <clears throat> was it positive? <laughs> Singing, take my hand with a black wig on. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Take my hand, take my oh my goodness! And, and then I and then I took both hands off in the motorcycle. I no, I'm sorry, I did not see that. Mm. Okay, what did you say? Is it mm, okay to post here? I don't know. What did you say about it? Again, that that uh, that video got dinged by uh, YouTube for copyright. So if you saw it. Maybe I had to demonetize it or something. I forget. I did that a long time ago. Andy Bumatai, she wrote it on Facebook. Oh, no. <clears throat> no, I didn't see it. Okay. 
Uh, let's see, what have we here? Let's play another little vid since we did that. And we're at about a quarter after the hour, about 15 minutes left in the show. Um, <clears throat> let's go to the, here's one. Oh, we went, did we go through New Uano? I can't remember. New, New, yeah, let's, let's, let's go through. Let's take a little jaunt through New Uano. This morning and put on a colorful robe. I glide down the staircase, feel as good as the sun is golden. Pour me some OJ in my tallest glass. Takes over easy, cause I'm over you at last. I hear the news, paper boy. Sounds like music to me Extra, extra Breathe all about it Today was the day that I Discovered I'm better off without it She had strolled Very hair And red wine in her stare But all they did was mask the fact button you see me whack the infinity over there okay let's see let's start this up again boom right there oh love it yes please see honda i'm lost here what's oh cool song Ooh, wait a minute oh Sam. <laughs> let's hear your samoan accent please can i please hear your samoan accent no, I'm not that good at the Samoan SM because I never spent that much time in Nanakuli. But, hey, you fella, hey, what's the matter with you, eh? <laughs> oh, let's see. Lono, shall I whisper you my phone number? <gasps> oh, oh, I know. I love that line about slow dancing with my love. Ku'u aloha. 
cool song. Yeah, I know. I like that one. <laughs> yes, please. Oh. oh, I love this Tina Rose Cager, by the way. Um, I was reading this during the uh, song here. We got dressed up to go out one night. All the clubs were packed. And we ended up at the park playing on the swings in our fancy clothes. Oh, man, does that, is, I just see the video in my mind, Tina Rose. What fun that must have been. You know, I remember one time uh, we were like dressed to the nines for some function. You know, I mean, I'm talking black tie and the girls were in gowns and stuff. And we were in San Francisco with my friend and he has a checkered cab, right? And then we, we were looking for some place to go after this function. So we ended up, uh, we decided to go to a, a, a full blown punk club right in our in our tuxedos and stuff and we walked in and everybody was looking at us and i went you know what's really weird is in this club dressed like this we're the punks <laughs> because they were all dressed the same funny how that uh works you know oh i like the jet oh i know at the end well that's when he was free eh? and he was that's what i was trying to do with that Ah, uh, I'll dance with you, Lono, darling. Oh, yes. <laughs> I love this song, Andy. Oh, thank you. Fuel-injected love right there, I know. Brother was finally free. Extra, extra. Ooh. To fala for fala, to fala more. <laughs> Eight. Oh, there we go. Hey, you fala. I remember when I was in Nanakuli one time, uh, one of the Samoan chiefs, you know, I was at this function, and um, he go, how come you talk so good? Eh, hey, Andy, you caught up one night, but you talk so good. <laughs> well, I don't know. <clears throat> My mom had an emphasis on articulation. Yeah. Oh, she's the Mai right now. Okay, let's see how much time we got. Oh, we got about 10 minutes left in the show. Let's see if I have a uh, a poll left. Okay, do I have any? Oh, oh, yeah, I do. I have one more. Oh, oh, here. <laughs> Here's one. Here's uh, the poll is, do you have a name for your car? Okay, did you name your car? Let's start that poll. Boom. Here it is on the top of the chat. Do you have a name for your car? Yes or no? Again, I did all this stuff this morning, so the choice is not that involved. Uh, sorry about that. But uh, yeah, people name their cars. You know, <clears throat> I had a I had a, a, a 62 Nova, all bus up, rush, rust holes and stuff. And I used to call it the reef charger. <laughs> Because that was a slang we had for that board that you would ride. You know, this is before ding strings, right? You had this, that boss up board that you used that you would lose and end up on the reef. So we used to call them, hey, what? You gonna boss out your reef charger? <laughs> so I had the reef charger. Oh, my car name is Aka. Really? Aka. <laughs> is it Aka or Aka? <laughs> That's funny. Hey. I'm in Willington, uh, Wilmingsburg, about two hours south of you. Oh, that's a long name for a car. Huh? I don't know. Eluakane. Yeah, Paula. Is that right? Oh, because of... Oh, that's cute. Um, Gil calls his car Paula. 08 Chevy Impala. Oh, I get it. Actually, uh, Akate, because that means red in and the hand... And the icon on the stick shift is kanji for hand. Wow. Well, you're involved. <clears throat> I know I was going to say, this person is a nerd. <laughs> and knows how to point her own avatar. My 69 Ford is Sweet Sally. Oh, I like that. Sweet Sally. Oh, yes, mine is called DJ for Dodge Journey. Oh, <laughs> Our Prius is Princess Pupuli. Oh, she had plenty papaya, and she loves to give them away. I don't know if you ever heard that, but that's what I heard. My motorbike is also named Aka. Oh. 
I don't name anything, but I have called them names. Yeah. I was almost uh, tempted to put a third choice. Uh, I only call my car by a name when it breaks, but it wouldn't fit, you know, and I couldn't. Anyway, <laughs> I didn't feel like, uh, you know, what is it? What was, what's the word? Uh, truncating. Okay, um, <clears throat> called my old 75 Buick LeSabre the dinosaur. Got eight miles per gallon during the oil embargo days. Poof! I know, the fossil fuel burning mechanism strikes again. Hey, C Honda, what's your car's name again? Oh, my Jeep is C Alley. Oh, please, get me there. <laughs> Uh, my Jeep is called C Alley. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, we got that. We got that. Uh, I did. drove my grandpa's '56 Cadillac in high school. Friends called it the Sherman. Called it Sherman for Sherman Tank. Oh, that's perfect. You were safe in it. I promise you that, Marmac. Uh, Chaka. Yeah, we were in our in, in your neck of the woods about three years ago for Christmas. Who had a blast? I didn't name mine, but my brother does. He has a Chevy Cruze and named uh, her uh, Penelope. Oh, Penelope for the actress uh, Penelope Cruz. Oh, must be a pretty car. The Saturn thinks it's a Lamborghini, so I call it my Saturnini. <laughs> yeah, my old Dodge Dart Swinger was called the. Borinki Bama. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, that's, Borinki ba Da Barinki Bama. That's so much uh, easier to say than dart. Oh. My wife's car is Mita, and mine is the spaceship. Oh, I like that. And when you press the gas, it goes, yeah. I never thought to. Maybe baboos in memory of my Portuguese grandfather. Ah, oh, well, maybe you just named it, Sandra. I'm not sure. We used to call my friend's little gray Honda the brain cell. Oh, that's cool. Hey, you guys, you're inventive, huh? Ah, no name for the car, just Honda, like me. In high school, drove my dad's 66 green Impala and was, and my ex called it Jade Grenade. <laughs> oh, was, oh, yeah, green. Oh, that's funny. The Jade Grenade. Oh, very, very inventive. Okay. Oh, Wild Willie. That's a cool name. Yeah, I think so too. Phew. <clears throat> oh, C Honda. Better than the Pinto, I guess. Ah, hey, you want to buy a Pinto? Yeah, the only problem is it's stuck in reverse. No problem. Ah, I have a Chevy Cruze. Ah, wait, wait, Wild Willy. Vicky Asato, I have a, a Chevy Cruze. Wild Willy, call it the CC Rider. <laughs> Chevy Cruze, CC Rider. Okay, <clears throat> my car was nicknamed Dev box. Oh, sounds kind of cute. Hey, could be the the Honda. Oh, may see see Honda people. Wild Willie, who nice name. Oh, look at Tina Rose Cager, the bat. Oh, when I had one, she was Island Girl. Oh, when I had a car. So oh, you don't need one now, I guess, huh? Ah, Eddie, yeah, CC Rider. See, CC Rider. Now see what you have done. My truck has a sticker on the back. Big ass truck. We call it Bat. Oh, I get it. Oh, I didn't pick up on that when they mentioned the Bat. I know. Oh, hold on. When the Kia Sportage first came out, I bought one and immediately went on a road trip, Virginia and Arizona and back. It earned the name 
gutless, gas-sucking little pig. <laughs> you know, that just rolls off the tongue. <laughs> I don't know why Kia didn't think about that. I remember when the Sportage came out, I went, what a name, Sportage. So sounds like something that would leak from a knee injury, you know? CVR, the Dodger Mobile. Oh, Dodger Mobile Sentra died last year. Oh, Elvis in the room. Oh, Elvis. Empty bagel. Crack it up. That's so funny. The gutless, gas sucking little pig. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, can I borrow the gas sucking, uh, gutless little pig? Oh, really? Where are you going? Arizona. My husband called his motorcycle Blue Hawaii. Oh, Coop. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, Auntie Bagel, please don't hold back. Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> I also had an 82 Cutlass. So nasty, I called it the rat. Oh, I know, Marmac. Love it. My brother had an old Camaro had a license plate with the letters BAT, so we used to call it the Batmobile. Oh. It, it, was that accidental? That That's a cool accident. You know, sometimes that happens, right? Grannies with their walkers were passing us on the interstate. <laughs> I hate when that happens. Come on, Granny, pick it up. <laughs> Oh, bad! look at this. Oh, a Marmac. Crack it up, I know. SD Dodger. Keiki wouldn't get in the Dodger mobile in front of school because of rust spots. Oh, I know. I had a, I had a, um, a Volvo P1800. Do you remember those? Yeah, it was all bust up. I was trying to restore it. Never did. Ended up dumping it. It was just a money pit. But anyway, when my daughter was going fourth grade, dad dropped me off here. I'll walk the rest of the way. <laughs> you remember that one? Oh, and then we got a brand new um, um, what was a Honda Element. Remember when those first came out? The Honda Element, right? Oh, hey, come on, roll them up. Dad, drop me off here. And then just as she gets out of the car, she says to me, "Why can't you buy cars that like everyone has?" <laughs> What? And then later on, she loved the Dodge Element. We gave it to her, you know, uh, when she went to college. Loved the car. I don't know. Yes, the license plate was just randomly given. All score. Okay, um, 51 people named their cars and 49% do not. Oh, that's interesting. My wife's Honda Pilot was called Black Beauty. <clears throat> Be honest, those grannies were going over the speed limit, right? I know. <laughs> you guys are so funny. I had a car that was passed down to me in high school by my brother. He called it Caroline. I called it Rusty. <laughs> yeah. I had a, a 1978 Ford LTD. Everyone called me 5 -0. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, my husband is driving his older car, a 1986 BMW, and the newer one is the 1987. So I get the part about normal cars. <laughs> Dad, but in high school, they, they, it's like they want, it's funny, you're their parent, but they want you to be invisible, basically. So you pull up, you get, hi, and then they do their own thing, which is cool. I remember that. My, my, my dad never drove me anywhere, so it didn't matter. I had a, I, I, and I lived across the street from the high school, so moot point, right? Oh, I have a Honda Element boxy four-cylinder, but love it. Oh, yes. If you take care of them, you know, they're noisy inside, but when you, you, you know, the room in that little car is amazing. I moved the couch with that thing. I know, it's just amazing. 
she used to go camping in it and and you know when you had you flip the back seats up or however it went and there's a yeah they slept in there it's like what oh as long as you know your car sparky no afraid to ride in it oh oh i think i missed something on that one wow steven you had a land yacht for sure well, you can imagine in Hawaii and you drive an LTD, like La Garrett. I know. <clears throat> I didn't like driving our Camaro. Body like, oh, everybody like race. I know. In Indiana, I know. I When I had my Porsches, you know, I, when I was into Porsches, people were like that. You know, they come up, they rev, 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 rev. And I go, hey, bro, go. <laughs> I lose. I got it. Right. Yeah. I got full dining set into a psych oh, a full dining set into a, a scion. Is that what, how you pronounce it? I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah, you can get inventive. Belly Bear. Good to see you. Aloha. Are you Belly Bear? Somebody saying how's it to you? Okay. Okay, we're five minutes over the end of the show, so uh, I guess that's it for today. Huh? Mahalo, you guys. That was fun with the naming of the car thing. Green Man Bombucha. Hey, man. Okay, so let's play, uh, let's play our song. I'll click on nice some uh, avatars, and we'll go from there. Huh? Thanks so much for joining in. Once again, and again, if you have a website um, that you'd like, maybe, yeah, I guess maybe a YouTube page, I'm not sorry, you know, send it to me here tomorrow. If I can remember, we're gonna try to visit some uh, websites, right? <clears throat> okay, one more from JC. Uh, Andy, my husband once had a Suburban, oh my, that had a license plate that said Repo Man and he wasn't one. I wonder who he bought it from. <laughs> oh, suburban. Yeah, that's talk about a gas guzzler. Oh. Pole, do you have a packing gene? Can you get a full dining? Oh, yeah, I do. It's a spatial awareness thing, you know? I've had people say, you'll never get that in that car. Why do you gotta say that to me? <laughs> and then, and I would. Segway, what's the strangest thing you ever fit into your car? Keep it clean. <laughs> hey, that's a good one. Maybe we'll try that for tomorrow. Oh, yep, it, yep, it's like real life Tetris. <laughs> Too funny. Hey, mahalo for the five bits, Cindy. Appreciate it. Oh, man. Eh. Aloha. A uh, short visit for me today. Okay, Billy Bear, Belly Bear, but you know what? You made it. Thanks, eh? Appreciate it. Oh, nothing like a challenge, eh, Andy? I know, especially if you like puzzles. Okay. All right, gang. Um, let's see here. Let's play uh, Lono's song, and I'm going to click some avatars. Okay. Here we go.
of a CD. We got the music covered already. Okay, let's sing by the kitchen. That's right, the kitchen. I play lunch. Head out to hold a bit. West side. Archie and the boys out there. They're heavy on Hawaiian style. Oh yeah. Catch some waves. Go home. Enjoy that day, brother. There you go, gang. Um, and um, I forgot who was asking about hey, uh, Belly Bear or what other show hours. Uh, every morning, 6 a.m. Hawaii time. There's the clock back there. And Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 3.30 p.m. Hawaii time. But if your time changed because of daylight savings, then uh, you might have to adjust whenever that is for you. But again, 6 a.m. every morning, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, tree turtles okay thanks hey you guys for watching spock and i you tomorrow aloha Bye. to you